<laughs> Remember this? Hmm? This is sweet potatoes if you, if, if you don't know it. And in case you didn't see how we made it, please check. We actually, I actually dried it on top of this very roof here. <laughs> I sliced it and then put it on the roof to dry and that is just how it turned out like this. So that is just how we preserve our sweet potatoes. If you did not watch how we do it, please go back to that video and check for it and then watch how this turned into this, how sweet potatoes turn into this. Otherwise, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eunice, of course, and this one is eaten also like this. That's why you see me eating. So don't maybe start thinking, oh, I think she's too hungry. Okay, I'm hungry, but not too much. <laughs> I just like this. It is very sweet. So guys, this is um mainly for breakfast for us. We do this in preparations for dry season and guess what? We're already in the dry season. So it is the right time to start cooking such foods because the sun is really hot and the only way we keep these things because like, okay, it does not rain in the dry seasons. First of all, let me describe what the dry season feels like here. No rain completely, extreme heat, a lot of sunshine. So we cannot get a lot of things in the garden like fresh. So we keep such things dry so that we have them in dry seasons. And we can still access them even if there's no rain. So this is just breakfast. I'm going to cook it. And yes, I decided to share it with you. <laughs> Put it on fire. Eh, I think I'm overeating. That's why it's actually interrupting. Have you noticed? <laughs> they say these sweet potatoes can really be sweet. Very, very sweet. So all I'm going to do is just to wash it. Remember it was on the roof. So of course dust. And all that kind of thing so I'm just going to clean it rinse it a bit to wash off the dust so this is very nice when served with black tea first of all what you people call dry tea I don't know if it's dry tea or black tea but tea without milk that's what I meant <coughs> excuse me so with uh, dry tea and um, peanut butter of course once more <laughs> actually guys peanut butter is our everything in the kitchen so this went served with peanut butter and definitely that's how i'm going to serve myself this morning so you can't even wait to have this meal with me hmm? watch this to the end let's just put this on fire and then the fact that it's dry it needs much water for it to cook so that it softens well if you put little water it, it will be hard and actually not nice at all so you need to put much water for it to cook softly and let me tell you guys something about this food. It's nice when it's actually cold, like when it sleeps over. You understand what I mean? You cook it in the night, you leave it to sleep over, then in the morning you just wake up and start. Ha, I don't know how to describe it again. <laughs> but it can be so nice in that you'll eat and start sleeping because you're too satisfied. You understand what I mean? Remember with peanut butter? Ooh, <laughs> too nice. So I'm just going to add in some salt to give it taste. I understand it might be weird because when you're cooking sweet potatoes fresh, you don't add in salt. But when it turns to this, um, okay, when it turns dry like this, you give it salt to make it, I don't know, there's a way, the sweetness from the sweet potatoes and then the salt. Ooh, that combo, oh my goodness. And then with tea, Ooh, you don't want to know. <laughs> so let me just give it some salt here. For tests and then I'll just leave it there to boil yeah so I'm going to cover it here and leave it to boil and I'll show you along that way hmm? let's leave this to boil and come back So it is time to check. Uh -huh, come on, I show you what I I actually wanted to tell you this earlier on. I think you can notice how it has become. It's now full almost in the saucepan. Like it was little because it was dry, but now it has. Um, should I say? 
like it has absorbed water you, you get what i mean so it has become much yet by the time we were putting it was really little so this was something that I actually wanted to warn you about earlier on when you're cooking this you don't put too much otherwise if you put a lot it might when it gets ready it might become excess like too much beyond your expectation because when it absorbs whatever there is where it becomes bigger and so it fills up the pan so fast even when you're not really expecting it oh, i'm already hungry and the thing is not getting ready let me first test one <laughs> okay it's almost ready i think you can see from the color change it's almost ready and as for this trust me after eating this eh, i don't think i'm even going to have lunch because this thing can mean to be heavy in fact people who go to the garden like whose gardens are really far from home or maybe they go grazing or maybe someone is traveling or even even school children by the way in the in, in the villages here we pack them for school children you pack and the child just goes with it to school because some of these schools don't like prepare lunch for children so you have you as a parent has to pack something for yourself for your children or for your for your child so at the end of the day parents with such in the house really pack them and their children just you know you eat at break time and you'll play like there's no tomorrow lunch time when people are also eating theirs you also pick out yours and eat and you'll just drink water and actually end up sleeping in class that is again the bad side <laughs> it is too heavy okay it's not far from getting ready i think you can see the inner part this white part here hmm? there's that white lining inside that is the part which is not ready but this outside part which is brown is actually ready so that is how you tell when it's ready when it's still whitish like that it means it's not yet ready but woo, even when it's not ready i can feel it already the test is mwah. Okay, I hope I don't finish it on fire. <laughs> but it's really nice. Actually, even if you don't have tea, just water alone will do. Mm. I want to pick another one. <laughs> I'm developing a bad habit of eating when food is on fire. Have you noticed? I should start fighting it before it's too late. There's a saying that one practice makes permanent mm, something like that so i don't want to keep practicing this it's the last time i'm going to test food on fire like to eat not testing trust me if i'm to pick two or three more pieces of this and i drink just even a cup of water by the time this thing gets ready i'll actually be full it is really heavy when i tell it's heavy it means it is really heavy guys but let's give it some more minutes for it to get ready properly because when you eat it raw like this you're actually risking stomach pain by the way yes it's nice in the mouth but with the stomach mm -mm, it's not going to be very good for you you might end up regretting and you sleep in that toilet <laughs> guys let's give it some more minutes before i can carry it off okay so <laughs> our food is ready okay just i want you to see the color actually how i wish I had notified you of the color difference before but like I told you some 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 few minutes ago that when you see it whitish it means it is not ready but you can see how brown and color has changed so this is an indication that it is actually ready and you know what I cannot even wait to eat it so let me first okay I'm first going to put some little here just to pull an eye and I test <laughs> again <laughs> you know how i love testing <laughs> testing is my best you know okay i'll leave the rest to cool but i first want to test this it's too hot so <laughs> okay as we wait for this thing to cool are you subscribed <laughs> if you're not subscribed please as our food is cooling first hit that red bell and then subscribe and then of course you turn on your notification bell and yeah you'll definitely not miss anything from me again so oh he's still taking long to cool what more can i tell you <laughs> i'm looking for what to tell you <laughs> hmm 
Mm -hmm. I've managed it. Yeah. You were waiting for me to spit it out. No, I am strong. <laughs> I'm an actually girl, so we are strong people. <laughs> super super tasty guys and you know what actually there's some water here i just want to drink some water because i think i'm choking <laughs> welcome for my breakfast already mm? i'm out